want to see how they're going to play the Winston here, because if you would kind of expect Fusion to do the same kind of thing, which currently they are, it's going to be a straight mirror. As he who wants to switch to some fight. I doubt he does. I don't think there's any way. He does have his Translocator back in the spawn, so he can yeah, kind of get a different back to that. Spot for that if can. Yeah, he's not, no, so it doesn't look like he's going to change at all. In fact, nope, hacking the mini health back definitely indicates he's staying. And it's just about taking this platform control first. You give a lot less space to the enemy healers too if you do this, because Twilight is so safe. Not so much anymore, as he's a uh, purple. So the Smurf is going to have to get out of there rather fast too. That was a beautiful fire grenade from Alarm. You can see how much ult charge you're both at. Twilight and Alarm have already old teammates, like I said before, rocking the same supports. And uh, Smurf has to be a little bit careful, but the Zarya has to be careful with the bubble. And it's going to be a small rotation here from Fusion trying to get on the high ground. Oftentimes, the defense will meet them up on this high ground as well, but it does seem like Philadelphia is just going to be able to take full control of it. Because where does the dive come in from? Any free progress. Yeah, this is a really nice one from Alarm here. You can kind of nade inside the bubble like that. Uh, as soon as you break it, you're going to be safe. So how did it get hacked? No tick acquired just yet for the fusion. A couple of pixels off before that went out. And uh, Ivy actually dies in the 1v1 to Rascal in that small room. Very honorable, I must say, um, and not dipping out the heals. Sado ends up getting the nano boost as well to try and turn the tides. However, Smurf's going to receive one too, but almost instantly go down. Oh no, sorry, that was Violet that got the, the nano boost from Twilight. It wasn't Smurf at all, and I'm, I'm wondering if that was actually a mistake. Maybe Violet got in the way, because it definitely felt like Smurf was in a bit of a precarious position. And now they're jumping onto the point. Rascal's going to go down as well, and now Fusion could start gaining some time. Yeah, Fusion right now just wants to win the fight without having to use any more ultimates. Like, that is the big key right no. now. Okay, that's a sick ult, actually. Oh, the EMP as well. Straight on top of Fury. There's the blade. Oh, Choi, run. He's got a blade in a small room. Although, a vibe, he doesn't have the nano boost. He almost instantly ends up going down. Twilight's thirsty for blood. Sado and Ivy end up falling. That was a beautiful grab coming out from the Fusion to stop Violet there from getting the rally to the rest of his team. The problem was then Fury got grabbed. And they're unleashing the blade without the nano, Fusion can't really do much. They got so much protection, and they could just evade the blade. It caught them completely off guard. It caught me a little bit off guard, too. Again, I need to learn that San Francisco is still in every single fight. And look what Philadelphia ended up spending to try to pull that one back. The EMP and the blade. Yeah, the grav came out to try to defend it. Now San Francisco has flipped the script. Their economy is in a great position. Philadelphia, though, has this man already. Though. Wow. Okay, well... <laughs> Sado dies uh, to Violet. Okay, go again. Look how many ults those shock have. It's only a minute a little, left. A little bit absurd. Yeah, you got only one a minute left. In. There's two ticks though, so it doesn't have to be a supreme team fight. San Francisco just banking ultimates right now. I think San Francisco is going to be the aggressors here. I think they come in and try to nail an EMP because uh, the attackers are going to be grouped up. EMP is much better to land on an attacking force. Yeah, someone's hanging around the mega hack, uh, mega pack here. He's who on the high ground. Hasn't found anybody just yet. He's waiting for Sado to kind of jump in. He actually does duel, take the duel with somebody. And now Sado jumps up into the high ground with a primal rage, although Nano Bait is still available from the shock. There's the Nano. The blade might not even need to come out, to be fair. No, Rascal's just not away. gonna go in with this. They're a little bit too far away and isolated too, so this Nano went a little bit astray, if I must say. An attempted hack onto Rascal to stop him dashing in, but they must know he has the blade. Sardo gets the Nano boost, but it's gonna get naded too. He has to just get out of there ASAP. A Graviton Surge will come in from the Shock, as well as that Rally on top, and in fact, they're throwing everything in. 13 seconds remains for the Fusion to try and find a place on the first point, but it's not gonna happen, and now they're gonna have to touch but I don't think it's going to work. I mean, Hisu, he's got 10% towards his EMP, but San Francisco shot with pure ultimate economy game has managed to hold the fusion off this first point. Sado's going to be able to get back just in time, but gets booped away. And the Shock have such a clear win condition. I mean, especially on Anubis, it's such a long way from the, the second point spawn. It takes you so long to get back if you haven't got a Lucio, you're not a Tracer, like someone with mobility. One fight here, and Shock could end this map right now. Choi Hyobin got two Graviton Surges, was able to lap Fury. He was able to get Grav every one minute and 40 seconds. Meanwhile, Fury at 2.31. And while we have this downtime, Jack, it's my favorite game. Pop quiz, hot shot. How many kills did Philadelphia Fusion have on their push? Three. Three. Ah, oh, it's close. But oh. there's your Price is Right rules. You went over. It is two. Two kills. Two. Two, two, two. Okay. Rascal and Smurf died.
Ouch. I mean, that is... Yeah. Coming off of the map and it being close, in fact, both of them being fairly close, you're like, okay, cool. Don't expect to get first held, but... Um, it's Twilight the Sharp Shooter on the Arna. I love doing damage as Arna. I've always found it quite satisfying. I, I just find San Francisco so absurd sometimes because I'll, I'll forget about all the guys on the team. And then it's like, well, yeah, okay, Violet is Violet's really good at Zen. He's, he's really good Baptiste. Vi you know, uh, you, can, you can play Brig. They've got Moth and Lucio and, and the Mercy covered. And then one of the best Annas from Season 2, Twilight, MVP candidate, Roll Star. Like, it's, it's absurd. It's the embarrassment of riches that San Francisco has. Shock do be hoarding some good players. <laughs> I will say that. Shock do be hoarding. Yep. Nice little leap in there from Smurf. Gonna track Hisu here, ideally. If you can stop him from building this EMP, but we said it, we said it before, Hex, that he's been struggling on this uh, Sombra pick. The EMP's yeah. have been good, but the generation, not so much. It's and look at the space now that Shock are gonna be able to. Claim. They're going to be able to claim this Mega Pack room, however their health pack is hacked, luckily enough for Fusion. Troy Open has no energy right now, he's going to try to go get some, Ooh, has to be a little maze. careful, but they're the door. Maze. He's alive somehow still? Okay, that was a ridiculously good nade from Alarm there, waiting for the uh, personal bubble from Choi to go down. And now they're just fighting this room, eventually Choi dies, there we go, another fire grenade lands, and that is Shock going down. Nothing really else they can do. Okay, I mean, now you're thinking, this is winnable, because it's not like you can only draw this map. San Francisco did put some progress on there. Those free two ticks are really going to come back to haunt. Or, excuse me, yeah, Philadelphia put some progress on there. They're at 87%, so San Francisco, their first push extremely botched. The alt economy in favor of Philadelphia by a small margin here. So they need to win two more fights, and they can win this map. Just stockpiling ultimates, and that's what Fusion have done. They've got EMP, they've got Blade, they've got Nano Blade, in fact, and they almost have that grab too. Six ultimates online almost. Oh, nice little sleep. And, <laughs> whoa, look at that. That is a get down, Mr. President, right there. <laughs> Everybody spotting uh, someone being asleep, and they dash around him. EMP comes out. That's a five, man. That's Rascal dead, and that's the rest of the team gone as well. And now you sit on a Nano Blade, a grab, a Primal Rage. Very winnable from the Fusion. However, Shock, not out of this just yet. EMP coming through, that's four people hacked. However, the Rally's already building up for the Fusion. They're way harder to take down. Ivy with the Nano, he doesn't need the Blade. They're already trapped in the grab. Now will be that team fight over again. The Shock investing a fair bit into this fight. They use the Nano, they use the Rally and the EMP, but Philadelphia, they had to use, use a few of their own, and they only have the yeah. Blade coming for this next fight with no Rally armor. This should disappear by the time the Shock engage again. Yeah, it's not a few of their own. They used everything. Those are single-digit charges on the entire uh, four right players of the Philadelphia. Both supports and both tank ultimates used. Now, San Francisco has a Blade of their own, a grab, and a Primal here in a huge position. Philadelphia might just try to go in and stop this. If they find a support out alone, I think you just have to gamble with the Naked Blade into the back line. See where Ivy is, he's kind of hiding around the high ground on the left-hand side with uh, Sardo. Ivy is going fairly low, however, and Choi setting up for the grabs of his life. Well, they want to rotate to get up there. I mean, the grab needs to go into the high ground where all the, the major players are. Yeah, you can pin into the wall, though, so maybe that's the play for Choi. He's going to bubble them down. So now the, the Fusion are in an odd situation where they have to contest. He's just going to do just that. Four-man EMP. Rascal goes down first yet again. And now 40 seconds remains for the Shock. They may have had the ult hex, but Philadelphia Fusion, they managed to build up another EMP. It took Shock so long to decide yeah, really the what they wanted to do. They pushed yeah, it, it onto the point, had positioning, but Hisu had a better one. It just wasn't quick enough. They just didn't go quick enough because Hisu was, I think, at 30% when that fight started with the ult and much maligned in the last couple of maps for his ult charging ability, but he's able to get that EMP off. Last gasp, though, for San Francisco. They're going to have five ready to go. Striker gets hacked! Striker go! gone! Nano Blade, though, in the back. Rascal's fine one already, and it's the support. The sleep guard goes wide. Alarm ends up going down as well, but Ivy at least trading one for one. Rascal with a 4K, and now jumps to the back. Ivy and Hisu are low. The Graviton surge on the 2 HP Ivy finishes him off in the end and Shock. They managed to get onto the point. Someone still has to touch. Thank yes, goodness geez, Smurf please. realized that. A Fusion are going to be able to come back on the Wrecking Ball, but it doesn't really seem winnable now as Striker is just holding on to this EMP. The Nano Blade was worth it. Ivy tried to clutch it out in the end. Sardo's going to be able to come out with the Primal Rage as well. Still winnable. EMP. 
hits uh, a couple of people. Smurf is going to get hacked as well. The rally is here. That is going to be it. Shock are going to push off Fusion in OT. It looks so winnable, but it doesn't matter in the end. The Shock are going to claim the map and claim 2-1 in the series. <laughs> a very interesting version of Temple of Anubis. It is Philadelphia Fusion's first loss on that map all season. San Francisco plays the extremely patient game. Philadelphia did what they could. I mean, but that's what San Francisco was trying to set up. Right now, San Francisco has Smurf on Sigma, but they haven't left spawn, so who knows just yet. Five, yeah, there's no way he's going to play Sigma. I think he's just messing around. TP's forward. Mira Comps looks like it. Um, Rascal and Genji, I'm on Genji, Isu and Striker. Yep. Perfect mirrors. Ooh, that was unlucky. Shock couldn't quite get to, to the mid-pack quick enough. Well, no, I guess not the mid-pack, the, uh, the jump pack map. map. Uh, pack. Yep, I said that correctly. That was, that was, that was great. I like the, uh, yeah, I, I was going to say, I really like the Sombra on this map specifically because you can kind of hide away around these trees and hack whoever kind of comes near you. Luckily enough, Smurf managed to get his bubble down before any meaningful damage was actually done. And the controlling of the high ground is going to be fairly important. Rascal's in a lot of trouble, but luckily enough, Fury is at no energy whatsoever. He's going to be a little bit more uh, energized now as he gets a full bubble to the charge. Hacked. Oh dear, that hack was good. He's too hacking Choi and isolating him. However, Sado suffered the same fate, and now Smurf coming back in. Two tanks dead for the side of the fusion, and even a hack onto the, <laughs> onto the Genji too. He's not doing all too much. The Shock definitely with a nice little position over the fusion now. Oh, missed oh, the uh, that was missed the shotgun shurigans. Like usually, you think like you're getting hacked as Genji. That like, oh, it's fine. I'll, I'll right click. Missed them all. Pisu just tiptoeing through the raindrops. There gets the hack, gets the kill. That's huge. Nanobade available for both teams almost. While a little bit behind alarm currently. Nano. Oh, the EMP. Oh, that well, that would have been so sick. But the EMP actually landed on three people on the fusion. Five hacked for the shock. Choi going low, somehow kept alive. And Nano boost on Fury to keep him in the fight. No Nano Blade available for the fusion now, as they only have IV with the ult. Rascal's uh, approaching his. So this is going to be Shock's big turnaround ultimate. Well, they don't really need to turn anything around. They're they're in full control here, and you know, Oasis is a map that if the fights aren't over until they're fully over. It becomes played. Nano played. Oh, there's nothing you can do. Run away. Oh, that was unfortunate. And now they can just sit in control. Control is such a fickle mistress as well, because if you control the first point, uh, the point first, you end up you're in such a good position where. You force the enemy team to use ults. You force them to push into you. So you not only gain a lot more ult charge, but the time is not of essence to you. You can sit on the point, you can stall out with things like Primal Rage, and then mm -hmm. you force the enemy team into using ults. We're now up to 70% for the shock, and there's only really been about one fight X. Yeah. In a way, this feels like the worst offender in that regard. Because there's so many places you can hide, which is rather annoying. There is a Graviton Surge and a Rally on top as well. Choice is out a chance. He did get naded. So he was able to keep himself alive for at least a little bit longer there, and uh, Twilight and Violet were just pumping and full of heals, but it wasn't to be. Contesting the point is the name of the game now for the Shock. There's the blade in the back. Ivy is going so low. One, two, three slashes to take out Twilight, but they end up trading after this uh, small engagement. And now Funny Astro taking a couple of kills of his own. They end up finding the replay, but uh, Shock, they're not out of this just yet. They pop the rally to get back into this fight. But now yep. Fusion they in that nice this. situation where they can just kind of sit back and relax, wait for Sado to come back. But no, no they're going to step off the point. 
Okay, the EMP came out and only hit one as well. Hisu managing to score Rascal and then get him with a manual hack too. He's gonna get hacked manually and then stunned and then not even go down. The shock just pumping with so many resources into Rascal and now they're in OT. They have to stick on the point and luckily manage to get the flip hex. Fury's at 100% and this, that's just a eraser paint tool right there. Click on them, they're out of the game. San Francisco, it's because that they have won fights 2v4 before that those things are going to happen. The only big mistake I, I point towards is probably the rally at the end where Violet throw, throws it in and they, they try to get back in there. I don't mind Smurf just making sure they get up to 99%. Philadelphia stepping off the point. It's not that big of a deal. It's a pet peeve of mine, but it didn't end up hurting. Look at the ops, though. Oh, my God. That was a big EMP. Alarm. Funny Astro and Fury get EMP. And the Nanoblade comes in. That's three kills for Rascal. I'd be trying to like level this one out, and he's doing a good job of it as well. Choi and Violet end up going down. The Genji won't be one on the payload on the point. Strike is back. Oh, he's cheating from the shock. The two v one in the end. <laughs> Disrespect it. The one v one. OT now here for the shock as it ticks down. Fusion can come back to this maybe. They managed to touch the point just in time, and they've got ult to spare as well. Alarm jumping over to the Moira to make sure he can keep his team alive in this uh, upcoming fight. Yeah, this one is not over by any means right now. Philadelphia with an enormous ultimate advantage. That's a nice little hack as well onto the Winston Smurf. Scaring the cover. The grabs on surge in the back as well. Yep, Sado and Ivy find the two in there. And Rascal gets cleaned up as well. Fusion eventually take control once more. Well, that's great for Philadelphia as well because they use two tank ultimates. But look, their damage are still holding on to it. A nice late stagger as Alarm gives him the Colin Robinson treatment. Energy Vampire towards the grave. Philadelphia is going to be able to come back with this because they have an EMP, they have a blade, um, and now we're, we're nearing final fight here. What does San Francisco have to be able to fight this back? It may have to come up to the rally, and rally should keep them alive long enough to be able to match an EMP and a blade, but you don't want to be in position where you get caught out first. Oh, that's a good EMP as well. The blade's going to come out too. Smurf, Joy, Violet hacked. Smurf, Violet dead. Uh, Joy's going to get chased down as well by Astro. Finds out a nice little boot kill. And now Shock in a that's dangerous it. situation where they need to be able to touch the point. I don't think they're going to be able to. Almost a complete team wipe. Alarm just kind of spraying around, see if he can find anybody that's sneaking. Adam. There you go. There's Striker. Manages to get the OT as well. So coming back in with the Primal Rage is still not lost for the Shock. Smurfin can continually so touch here on the point. There is the coalescence to try and turn the tides. However, Striker with the EMP is going to be pretty big. Fury Sado, Ivy packed, and Fury ends up getting taken out. And now Rascal with the blaze and the rally at his back. Rascal finds three yet again. Alarm finds him, but it doesn't matter at all because Twilight's now on the point with Violet. He's going to have it. Nano for this fight as well. Somehow, some way, the shock come back in what looks such a winnable fight for the fusion. Striker ended up touching. They triggered OT, they sent uh, they sent Smurf in on the Winston, who was then able to leap in and out with the Primal Rage yeah. and continue contesting and shock take the round. I, I very rarely call fights over and be wrong about it, but it's San Francisco. It's, I just have to tell myself, like, when are you going to learn this lesson, old man? It's San Francisco. It's not over till it's over, till the bell rings, till the whatever you want to call it, whatever old uh, adage you want to use. San Francisco always finds a way <sighs> My goodness, I can't believe they're able to pull stuff like that off. 1-0 on Oasis, tied up in the series final of the Countdown Cup between these two behemoths. And it looks like we have a mirror match yet again. Oh yeah, these two has been slept, mind you. Should be okay. Gonna be too far behind on alt charge. Yeah, Strike, you might want to throw that to safety just to make sure if you do in danger. Uh, Philadelphia Fusion yet again managed to take Mega Pack control, so they can just play around that, or at least have Sado just kind of sit on it. It's a lot less pressure on the healers, of course. Joy Oven ends up going down. You can see the pressure they're exerting. It's, just, it's so tough um, when the enemy team has like a third source of healing uh, from these hacked Mega Packs. Of course, they respawn a lot quicker as well, so it's worth keeping in mind. We should end up capping the point first. And, uh, oh. I still sleep again on Ivy, but you good. Eh, that's fine. I will seal you. My ultimate is over. come back in with an EMP. They're, they're a little bit faster on the EMP charges. Hisu is getting hurt again, so has to bail out. 
Oh, oh ooh, strike is dead. Are they going to be able to follow this up? I don't think they can. Oh, the kill onto alarm is going to be good though. We did get isolated in the side. I kind of take it back. There's the blade from Ivy straight into the bat line. Twilight got hacked as well, so couldn't even grenade himself. He couldn't sleep. Ivy finds two, and it being both the supports as well. Shock after play this one a little bit more scarce. Smurf takes out Fury, but still no heals on the point. Doesn't matter. Smurf literally doesn't care. He rips through two people. Shrike is going to come back as well, and they find the flip. Yeah, Smurf ends up winning out in that monkey knife fight. G gorgeous George ain't so gorgeous no more. And he's able to get another two on top of it. San Francisco now in control, counting up. And as is Oasis, it's such a hard map to flip back. Garden, City Center. I mean, University is the easiest one to be able to retake control of because everything's wide out in the open. Oh my god, I not if that actually killed. I would have been pretty annoyed if I was the shot. There's the EMP, Nano available. I don't think they're going to need it now. Rascal's already gone down. They even got a rally in. In fact, matched rallies. Graviton Surge on the brick. Goodbye, Choi. Goodbye, Violent. Eventually, he's still getting kept alive, but the kills are very much in the side of the fusion. So yeah, they're anti, but it doesn't matter. They got too much, uh, too much pressure in the front. Again, rather backwards and forwards is uh, Gardens. Another flip. Fusion 40% now in building. Yeah, this stage is a microcosm of the series thus far. Just completely back and forth. Whoever gets a little bit more value out of their ultimate seems to win the fight, and it's always the last two people alive, seemingly so. San Francisco on the comeback is going to have a Nano and a Blade. They might want to wait and just guarantee a fight win by waiting for Striker to get in the mix. Choi Hyobin gets anti. Choi Hyobin gets healed. Trouble, but he's going to be okay. Oh no! He did miss one shot on Violet there. I'm not sure if that yeah. would actually mattered. I think you just go again. If you don't have your brig, it looks kind of disastrous. But of course, they are the shock after all, so they could just yeah, go so when they going. want. They have EMP. They have blade. There's the blade in the back. Alarm's dead. Oh, did nice translocate there from Isu to get out of there just in time. But Choi manages to grab it on Surge Sardo, so he couldn't do anything. Isu with the translocator out of the fight, and an EMP as well on top for Striker. I'm not entirely sure if that was even no, necessary from the shock. Not. It 100% was not. And I think part of this is just a byproduct of having people who don't necessarily play a ton of Sombra being on the Sombra. And uh, it's it's so much of like, I don't want to die with it. What if we needed that EMP? There There is a little bit of nerves when you have to play this new hero. It's Sombra plays differently than almost everything else. It's hard to find a you know a comparable hero that's like, oh, I guess the tracking's like Tracer, but it's like the, the mobility and everything. The timings are all very different. So just getting a hang of it is extremely difficult. Philadelphia, 88% needs to win one more solid fight. They've got EMP to do it, but not Twilight, really to what are you doing? Up. Oh my god, Twilight! The flanking bio grenade instantly killing off both supports. That is how you carry on the Ana right there. Oh, Smurf, he's going to seize Hado straight out the front door. He leaps away. That was a very risky flank from Twilight, but hey, if it's anybody that's going to do it, it's definitely him. Shock what now, 10% away from securing the map and match point in the series, Hex. Well, and San Francisco is going to have the, the best stall-out ultimates possible, even if they do end up losing people. They've He's going to do it again! Are you fight. kidding me? Oh, Are you kidding me, Twilight? Another beautiful sleep into a bio grenade so they couldn't block it with a shield. Smurf now primal raging near their spawn. This is the shock weather we like to see. Just all attitude, no fuss. OT's going to tick down. It's only Sado on the point. He's going to get flammed. Victory blade from the rascal and shock are going to find themselves with match point in the series 3-2 as we go on to our next one. Oh, I think you nailed it, man. All gas and no brakes. That's a San Francisco shock style for you. I mean, when you get hit with a nade like that from behind, I think you just don't, you, like, you don't even know what to think. You, you don't even know how to react to it, because it's just like, what the hell, man? Where did that come from? Twilight going for enormous, huge plays. Striker did a pretty good job on the Sombra there. He had some, some misplays, some not, not great, but he only died twice with staying alive. That's the best way to build up EMPs. Got EMP every one minute, 25, 20 enemies EMP'd from Striker there, so it seems like he might be their, their answer when they want to run a Genji and Sombra. And then, of course, if it all else fails, you just let Striker try to, you know.
popular and where he is right now, Philadelphia would run Winston on him body. You always knew it. You always knew Philadelphia was running. You could take the, the nameplates off of the teams, and it's like, oh, okay, there's a Winston on defense when no one else is playing it. This is Philadelphia. Sato's playing Winston. Ooh, okay. so a cute Rascal, little check. Yeah, I think he was checking for the Sombra. Well, yeah, definitely. Um, just to make sure he's not doing any any funny business. Oh, there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> just picked the wrong side. Hello, Isu. Okay, so same kind of uh, comps for both teams. Mirroring again. No surprises here. And it's going to be all about really striker setting up. Uh, same with Hisu. Hisu's been able to get a lot of ult charge being on the defense. You're just going to naturally get that a little bit quicker. Nice bio grenade though. Twilight and Rascal going a bright purple. I'll be able to escape the trouble back to rather soon. Know, we're going to have to be a bit careful. What the? Okay, that was interesting. I'm not I think that was a sleep and a normal dart deflected back into Choi. Uh, whoops, Daisy. There is two dicks now. Been acquired. And a third. Are they gonna, are they gonna touch? They're not gonna touch. Okay, well, you just don't touch. Okay, and uh, guess what, Hex? Uh, it's Numbani, so point two just doesn't exist. Although it might do now, actually, because Rascal and Smurf have ended up going down. Normally on this map, we just, over the last tournament, you just don't see second. It's like half a fight, and then you just give it up, and you only fight third, and you have a five minute time back on third. Like, that's just yeah. how it is. Although, I do need a believe, pause, I think. Yeah, they are gonna call for a pause, so. Maybe something happened there because that was very odd. Um, the fact that Fusion just didn't touch. So, I don't yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty bloodless. Uh, it was mostly just Sato went down. It was the it was the only kill actually that San Francisco was able to take. It was just killing Sato. And meanwhile, San Francisco had uh, they lost two of their own on the swing back. So I, I yeah, I didn't see how Sato went down. I think he might have gotten hacked and killed. Uh, but I'm not I'm not certain what the pause is. We are not privy to that information. Um, but yeah, that was a really uneventful first point for Numbani. And yeah, you bring up a good point on second point that I, th I think right now, like the defense is in a good spot if you can hold this corner. Um, that's like the best spot to hold on second because then maybe you can come in and get another fight. But if you get pushed back to the bus, uh, a lot of times that's going to be the only fight you get. And it's just tough for the defense to set up because the high ground is almost like too far away to be advantageous for the defense. And a lot of times the Winston is just going to leap on you anyway from that point. So that's why seconds have been a very, very offensive favorite lately. Looks like a funny Astro had a bit of a mouse issue, so we're just switching that out right now. You can see him kind of getting a new one all plugged in and whatever. So, uh, yeah, we should be back in the game momentarily. So, yeah, I don't think it really... Just a second. Oh, he's shaking his head. It's the rock box that has... <laughs> I said, it's like, well, we're playing the bar. Two people, you're like, okay, we're going to give it up, whatever. We'll just fight in point C because it's way more defensible and we're way right. more almost practiced at that point, right? Because I can imagine the same kind of thing happens in scrims. So, uh, however, this time around, with Shock losing two people early, um, Fusion going to be able to hold this really close. It depends yeah. how Hold Striker's is going to set up with an EMP, though. Yeah, obviously holding corners a little bit better when you have double shield, but you're still going to put the Winston over here. The EMP hits more. Very good. And he still managed to get the Nano off though, and in fact, Choi's just going to walk on forward. He has Nano. Sado's going to have Nano as well, but he's trapped in this small room. Nice little sleep on Sado too. Fury ends up going down. Perfect. Reactive Nano boost from Twilight. Now Sado's in trouble. They just walk at him. The fusion was split between the small room and the bus area, and Sado received almost no heals because the Lava Funny Astro, I believe they were LOS. They're going to fall, and um, well, there you go. Uh, point two. It's going to get capped, and there's nothing really the defense can do about it. Well, with the, the notion is without a shield tank that you want to post your Winston there so that he can get the cleaver on the corner, you give him the bubble, he's got his own, uh, you know, fish dome to, to drop down as well. But San Francisco just decided to, like, just walk in with their Brigida and say, no, you just, you stay in this room. We're not even going to bother trying to kill you. Just stay in here, and the rest of our team's going to walk forward. San Francisco didn't have to use anything except Nano. Nothing. Look at the ult. Ooh, there's the EMP. There's the blade. The fire grenade was good as well. Twilight does end up going down, but uh, look at Rascal dive on these walls. However, without uh, healing, he's going to be <laughs> in a sorry situation. He doesn't end up going down, but to be, he distracted Astro and Alarm for the yeah. entirety of that. Vi okay, well, Violet's emoting this spawn. Uh, that's very cool. He's just waiting for the heals, but uh, they managed to cap the point uh, because there was no heals in the front line for Fusion. So there you go, point two over, and now the five minute hold for well, Fusion. They also forced out, they forced out the rally too, which is absolutely enormous. Like, there's no defensive ultimates now for the Philadelphia Fusion, and then they're just now starting to get some ultimates online. For Philadelphia, it's gotta be the EMP Blade. But, Joy hyobin has got grabbed for that. Oh, beautiful little bubble there. Stopping Twilight instantly going down. They also pop Rally. Grab available. Nano Blade on the other side though. They have EMP as well. There's the Blade, there's the Nano straight at the back, deflecting. Oh, you got hacked too. Wait, the Bubbles are still gonna save him! And the Sleep as well! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Twilight? 
They managed to bubble the Genji after he got hacked so he couldn't kill him. The dash didn't kill him either. And then Twilight hits the nade and the sleep to follow up. The San Francisco Shock are going to be able to push his payload in now. Hisu with the late EMP. The Fusion has scattered the Shock with a 4 minute 20 second time bank for the next round, even if they need to go there as they cap this third point. <laughs> what? Just, just what? Twilight the is going and the peel off. This is ridiculous. Is... Oh, Anna Mains rejoice because this has been a treat all day watching these god tier Ana players hit amazing shots. The self preservation is insane. And two of the Philadelphia Fusion's four kills came on just garbage time cleanup after first point was captured. And then I think they got, what, um, they got Rascal once when he overextended? That was it. No defense on Nubani. So exactly what happens here, the Genji gets bubbled after he's hacked because he was deflecting to stop that damage going through. And then Twilight hits the sleep as Ivy dashed. He 180, hit the sleep, then hit the nade. The damage was enough. He killed him off. That was the best peeling of a Nanoblade I think I've ever seen. That was unbelievable. Shock and... Uh, they, I said point two doesn't exist and potentially a five minute hold because we've seen it before. We saw it in the last series, but with a four minute time bank, four and a bit minutes, that's that's absurd. That's actually absurd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to see where that one ranks as far as fastest Numbani's of all time because it, it did not really get slowed down too much. A small hiccup after first point capture. Now Philadelphia Fusion oh, must complete the, the map and San Francisco no, 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 the cheese. Oh, that was a really nice scout in there from Hisu. Almost got the hack off yeah. as well. He almost got slept. Yeah, <laughs> that, would have, that would have been a disaster. Of course, sleep um, being a small animation, of course, you can use it to interrupt things, of ultimates being one of them. Uh, but it interrupt recalls as well. So if you sleep some more the damage you can do in that time that actually getting back up can normally be quite deadly, especially if you've got a Genji uh, and a Winston jumping on you as well. So just in mind. Well, initially they were able to push Rascal off the high ground, but he got a ton of heals, so the Winston follow-up was not able to push him back to spawn. And Philadelphia going to go for the pincer move. Well, didn't wait for his team to go up there and hope that Shock can engage. Personal bubble has already been used, actually, uh, from the Shock. Yeah, so Troy has to be playing rather safe. Astro ends up going down. Nice little sleep on the return there. But they do trade him for Smurf. Nibani, one of the best maps really for defenders because the spawn point is fairly close. So Fusion, no time is of the essence currently. They're going to nano Fury as they send him forward. So is still pretty low, but you don't want to get in front of Fury, not when he has this much charge <laughs> and a nano. This Graviton Surge is coming online rather shortly. Striker's going to go down as well. Nah, they're not fighting. Smurf, Smurf respawned. He was the first one to die in that. He took one look at the... Uh, the glowing fury. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, everyone's sleeping. They all sleep, taking a, a little nap together in the corner. They haven't quite captured the point yet, but it will be uh, there momentarily. There you go. And yeah, San Francisco party was the, the back line. Everybody is really low, by the way. Imagine if Winston yeah. resets. Uh, that would be ridiculous. Joy ends up earning his own life on the bubble there, but uh, here we go. Point two in Barney. It's going to go within the blink of an eye. Fusion are going to hold really far up with Astro being on the pack. San Francisco was going to go in there if that sleep didn't happen. They were trying to send two on one side and waiting for the dive in to come from their tanks who were just posturing right around the corner. Uh, luckily, they got the sleep and San Francisco unable to recontend. However, San Francisco has not wasted ultimates. Uh, so sometimes where the snowball can happen is that you dominate a team like Philadelphia just did on first point and the other team doesn't have ultimates. That is not the case for San Francisco. We've got a full six loaded on each side. Time to enter Q City here, see who comes out on top. Really, for me, it's it's always about which Sombra gets a better EMP. Oh, the EMP. That was perfectly placed on Choi. He's going to get uh, purple as well, but the armor stacking up from the shock. Choi was the target that they wanted to leap on, but they just couldn't get to him. He got EMP'd, he got naded, was sub 100 HP, and still unable to take him down. A uh, one dash will kill him there, Rascal. He's just waiting for the cool down. For no, goodbye. <laughs> And now the Shocker turning this second point oh, into more Hisu. than just one fight. And they still find it picks as well. Well, Shock might just hold this door. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, the payload's still... going to trickle back as well, Hex. So yeah. it, they're gaining not only a lot of time, they're burning on not only a lot of time, but a lot of progress is being lost here by the Philadelphia Fusion. 
Okay, well, Philadelphia is going to have their tank ultimates because during that, that last engagement, Choi did have to use his Graviton to be able to save his own life. The Nanoblade comes out, though, from San Francisco. Yeah, but it's going to get bubbled. And uh, yeah, the goodbye. Uh, Rascal's not going to do all too much. Graviton turned on the side. They managed to catch Choi. Now it's 5v6. Primer Rage prop from Smurf, but he's already pretty low. And Fury doing a good job of protecting his backline. The target is Rascal. They managed to find it. And Smurf getting out of there rather fast. He had the Primal Rage, but not a lot of life left. Now the Philadelphia Fusion can eventually claim control of the payload again, but still a lot of time actually burnt off their time bank. I think this is the longest second point we've had in quite a while. Well, it's the biggest benefit of San Francisco going first and finishing the map the way they did, because then your mindset switches. You're not trying to beat the other team. You're not trying to win team fights necessarily. You are fighting the clock. Oh, they EMP'd and got the payload. That is uh, unfortunate for the Fusion. They definitely wanted to save that if they managed to secure the payload there on the second point. The Shocker are going to be more than happy with that, having an EMP of their own now. And, uh, Fusion tried to hold aggressive. Well, the Shocker in this scenario that Philadelphia found themselves in earlier, where they just need a play on defense. Something has to give here. Big EMP. It's yeah, two. Here is the target. You can see his health bar dwindling, and he's purple. Alarm trying to keep everybody alive, though, with the nade available too. It's pretty big, but no. Smurf ends his life rather shortly after. Smurf does end up going down, and a rally actually forward from the Fusion is going to be good news. Now Choi is caught off guard. Like, he's on the Mega Room, which is really nice for your personal, like, self-sustain, but he's cut off from the rest of his team. Regardless of that EMP being good from the Shock, the Fusion are able to just navigate around it. San Francisco's all over the place right now. I mean, their mindset has changed, like you said, Hex. Ideally, uh, they just need this one play. Speaking about play, Stardust is going to do just that, but he turns into an ult bank. He gets hacked in the Primal Rage and now has to play rather safe. A good sleep on Chichoy stops the aggression. However, they're just waiting for ults. The Fusion just need this EMP and the Nano Winston. They're going to Nano him first to create a little bit more space, but Alarm actually gets grabbed in the back. A nice little nade, but it is going to be worth it. Rascal comes in with a blade, gets a couple of resets, and that'll be, once again, the Fusion's offense thwarted. I mean, San Francisco did such a great job of just putting a tourniquet on where everyone was positioned and stopping the bleeding there because they were able to get Rascal out alive and even Choi Hyobin, who was caught in no man's land, up kind of where Smurf is now, he was able to get to the top balcony and the rest of San Francisco pushed far enough forward that he could drop down and rejoin the team and then he was able to get the Graviton to shut down Alarm's aggression. Philadelphia with the EMP, Blade, Grav, Rally, Ready, any sort of combination of those should win them the fight. It's going to be difficult for Striker to get a great deal of value out of this EMP unless Philadelphia all pushes forward at the same time. They're all oh, in the same spot. Room. Oh no, the Primal Room. They do oh. end up uh, sending in the EMP though. Ooh, look at all those hacked people. However, they're able to scurry away on the stairs. Alarm is dead too, so the Fusion haven't got much healing left. They supplement that with a rally. The Ivy's going to go in with the blade. Straight to the back line, but Snurf takes him out. Spawn advantage for the great Shock rally. as well. There was a lot of hacked people also, but the damage was not there. The healing was not there for the Fusion. They throw a whole bunch in on that fight. And now the Shock, one minute and 25 seconds away, Hex, from taking the Countdown Cup. Well, Philadelphia had this this intermediate staging ground in, in, high pa in, in low pack room, and all of a sudden, they're all grouped together. The Primal comes in and it creates chaos, and then Striker gets an enormous EMP. The follow-up is there. Philadelphia has to burn alts just to try to stay alive. They have nothing of impact left. It is just going to be the Primal Rage up for them. Meanwhile, San Francisco nearing a grab, nearing a blade. Ivy in trouble. Below one minute, San Francisco trying to close out this tournament. My heart's racing, and I bet theirs are as well. A one key hack here could be good. Or maybe they wait for Rascal to blade in, then they hack him, stop him getting resets. But Shock, they've got Grav, they've got Blade. They're going to throw the Grav in first. There's the Blade, Nate on top. Alarm, I'd be dead. Fury's going to follow as well. And now Philadelphia Fusion need to touch the payload. The Shock have thrown everything they have in last and still have more to go to. They're going to get Nano up. Smurf might have Primal Rage also. It's going to be up to Sado here to touch, but they got 25 seconds to do so. Yeah, that's the play, is uh, let Smurf go in, bubble him, heal him up, and then nano him afterwards, get the Primal off. The Primal's going to be there. If they get the hack, it's going to be big. Still 10 seconds remaining. Rascal's getting bullied. The payload is being touched, so OT will be here in a moment. But Twilight's still with the nano boost. Like, this is really it. They're actually just going to nano, nano Smurf. They isolate Fury, and he's dead. He's not available for the final fight. OT is here, but every single person from the fusion are cut down. Ivy comes in with a blade, but killed off by Violet. The San Francisco Shock have done it. Two championships in the monthly tournaments. 
The Countdown Cup is theirs for an organization with such a stacked lineup, a just brimming, bursting with talent and a championship winning players. You expect nothing less. That's the San Francisco shock that we know and love. The clock has struck midnight on the Countdown Cup and the shock are victorious. The Orange Crush comes through again and they play forward. They don't even let you get through. Smurf has been playing out of his mind. You know, he might just be smurfing. He might be in a secret underground Overwatch League that we don't know of, where it's all everyone's 5,000 and 6,000 SR, because that's how good he looks against the Philadelphia Fusion. Philadelphia, it's a heartbreaker. They got close. They played San Francisco close. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Seems like they're always second place. Going back to the inaugural Overwatch League season where they were runners up in the grand finals. Just never seemed to be able to get over that hump. They played the composition well. The meta maybe doesn't suit their best players as Carpe rode the bench all series. But the San Francisco Shock team, we talk about the big three, and I mention it every time we cast a Shock. Yes, there's a big three, and there's a gulf between them and everyone else, but it still seems that San Francisco, they still have a gulf between them and everybody else in the North American region.